<sighs> Hi, everybody. Um, I just got done watching the um, Double or Nothing pay per view for AEW, and I wasn't quite ready to go to bed. So I and I had planned to do this video earlier. Um, I think yesterday, uh, yesterday night, uh, last night, and I just ran out of time and just like I chose to go to bed so and I'm still kind of riding the wrestling high you know of watching the pay-per-view and everything and I'm like you know what I'll just hop on and do this little video that I had planned to do yesterday where um, I had planned um, we we're talking about my double dip movies uh, movies that I have bought a couple times over uh, for various reasons, you know, from either new special features or just upgrading the movie overall. Um, it's just kind of like, um, just something to really talk about because I did um, a, th a challenge with um, the 13th Wolfman, who earlier today I did a stream with, um, talking about just movies that we've watched, and, and we... Uh, um, and we did a, a little challenge back and forth where me and him would like, all right, like I want you to go into your movie collection and pick out a movie based on like a little task, you know, like a little criteria or whatever. And one of them was um, movies that you double dipped or double, triple or quadruple dipped on. And and some of them, when we, when we came back and everything, I was like, oh, I, like, I always wanted to kind of like, go through my movie collection and kind of uh, talk about the movies that I um, bought a few times just for like for the various reasons I just mentioned you know um, for better quality um, even new edits of movies um, so all these movies I'm going to show you um, are for those particular reasons um, so it's just um me um, just kind of going through a few movies that I really, really um, enjoyed um, buying again or thought was worth, definitely worth um, purchasing at least a couple of times. So um, <laughs> there's only really one that c could be um, questionable. I... Um, Hello, man. Um, thank you. Um, I'm, you haven't missed anything. I haven't revealed anything yet. Um, I just started. I'm just talking about the movies that I bought a couple times. You know, for various reasons. I've, you know, like, some of these movies have, like, alternate cuts or, like, better picture quality, new special features, um, stuff like that. And I think the, the first one I'm, I'm kind of starting off with is probably the like the weaker of the bunch in terms of like double dipping but i couldn't really pass up um uh, this particular reason why because now i own it um uh, on digitally 4k blu-ray and dvd so i own it uh, quite a few times so um and it's all because of <laughs> the only reason why is because um it all kind of just between the two packages. Um, so, um, first up, this is probably the weakest one, like I mentioned, is the um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World um, Blu ray. Um, I love this. I'm not, I love slip sleeves, and this one just looks fantastic. It's really shiny <laughs> and, and everything. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's, I, the, like if you really want a movie to have a lot of special features, this has like four. I think this movie has like four commentaries, uh, deleted scenes, um, stuff like that, and and I, I think the inside, yeah, the inside is just the same as well. And I'm trying to think, if it, I'm gonna go through each one pretty extensively. Like yeah, it's like that's what the Blu-ray looks like. Um, so it's. I just really like this one. I like the blue. 
uh, it looks really nice and it just it looks really nice on the on the shelf and then the upgraded one i bought the um 4k version of it i did just totally different artwork um has all the same special features it, it like has the same artwork on the inside i know my question the disc even um uh, see even has the same blu-ray disc but a different artwork for the 4k um has all the um special features from the uh, Blu-ray and stuff like that, but it just has kind of a better picture and sound and everything. So it, it to me, this was definitely worth a an upgrade. I, I think that's mainly why I bought this. And plus, when you look at it on my shelf, it looks nice. It just, when you need it, like, sorry for the super glare. Uh, yeah, it just looks nice. The red and blue, shiny, and casing and everything you just like i really like that so this is probably the weakest of the bunch just because of it's basically just in like a 4k version of this with all the special features so it's um but it's not a bad one yeah but i don't regret it because i had a lot of fun watching it so um <laughs> so next up is i'm the, the the nice thing is, like, there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of horror, sci-fi, um, thrillers, um, action movies. So it's a little bit of everything that I've upgraded. So it's I just don't tend to upgrade um, one particular genre of movies. You know, horror is the one that tends to be upgraded the most in, um, in my collection. And that is starting with, uh, you'll see how much I paid for this, <laughs> is Night of the Living Dead. Uh, oh, Return of the Living Dead. Sorry. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of commentaries. And that's usually a, a um, what's it called? A selling point for me is the special features and stuff like that. It doesn't have a lot of special features. And I'm pretty sure um, this one may be one where they um, mess with the soundtrack. I'm not quite sure if this is it or not. But I think this one, one may be uh, where they had to like substitute some sound uh, new music um uh, and it's um oh okay um you own this one um and it's it's still pretty good quality overall in terms of dvd and everything i bought it used for three dollars and 33 cents sorry there's a huge glare going on yeah there it is and, and so when i had a chance to upgrade to the 4k screen factory edition i couldn't um uh, could not uh, um not do it because there's there's all kinds of new special features like special features so like there's an abundance of special features even like a work print version of the movie um, which i've yet to check out hopefully soon i will check that out and kind of come back to like kind of like where it's uh, a little bit rougher around the the edges of what it looks like and everything and i'm like i love work print editions just to kind of see where kind of like you see where like a good first edit of the movie and um and it's really good and i'm trying to see what the disc yeah see it doesn't even have any artwork like there's no artwork on it it's just um just bare bones looking DVD. Um, you know, the artwork is really nice on the front. Um, and the artwork for the 4K is really nice too. And even for the um, special, like for the disc and everything, they it's they all have pictures on it. And I think this has a, re this, oh, this is like one of the few that don't have a reversible sleeve um, um, insert, which is, I think it would be nice to have this one, this cover as an alternate cover. I think that would have been pretty nice. But, um, yeah, this is just because I upgraded this just because I've had that, that the DVD for so, so long. And, and I just didn't quite, and I knew the Blu-ray had some issues. So I just kind of held off until, like, a really good set. And I'm glad I didn't... Uh, held off onto this one because uh, the picture quality and everything was so cool and so good this, just listening to the soundtrack 
was fantastic uh, on my surround sound. So this one, like this one's a pretty strong double dip. So um, next is a superhero movie that I fully enjoy. This is actually a really cool um, um, edition that I cannot get rid of because I just love it so much. Um, I'm not quite sure if it has all the exact same commentaries and stuff like this. That's why I'm holding on to this one. It is the Hellboy Director's Cut box set uh, for the first movie. Um, the, the first. And it has... Um, uh, like three, It's a three-disc set um, with each of the main characters. You got uh, Abe... Oh, I'm sorry. You got Abe... Um, can't think of her name. I know it's Selma Blair who plays her, and then um, then you got Hellboy himself, and each um, each disc kind of tells uh, um, and each disc kind of tells you what's on the actual um, disc itself. So like the first movie is the director's cut commentary um, stuff like that. Um, so which I think with this one you don't get all that. So this is actually has. Um, more special features than the Blu-ray, um, because, uh, I think, because uh, that's why I kept this one. And then on the disc two, just some introductions, deleted scenes, uh, trailers, filmographies, stuff like that. And then the disc three is like more, um, like it has like some comic con footage and stuff like that, which I really, really enjoy that kind of stuff. And, um, and the Q and a, and just more, um, I think it has more commentaries. Uh, oh, has it? Oh, this one has a cast commentary video or video commentary. I may have to check that out. I forgot about that. So this is a, uh, and to top it off. It has a um, booklet. It has like a little book. It has the R.I.P.D. or, or that's the wrong movie. Um, has the little. Um, So, um, from the movie and everything, and, uh, it just, I just love, I just love this box set. So, I'll drop it. that's all right. I'll pick it up here in a little bit. <laughs> but, so yeah, uh, oh boy, uh, that's an also very strong double dip. Uh, this one, um, there's only the next movie has some new special features, but I bought it because um, I'm starting to wear out this particular DVD. And that was another reason why I wanted to really wanted to upgrade the uh, Return of the Living Dead because I hate those double disc or double sided disc. And and then I just don't like the like like for the movie is um, Slither, by the way. Um, that's a movie I double dipped on. It's just like I hate these, like, I don't like the look of these discs. Uh, they just look like they can, they're easily scratched and everything. And, and they, these have the little tab, like, this one still has the little tabs on it. And so I upgraded to the Screen Factory Blu-ray. And it's just, uh, what makes this one worth um, per, the rebuy is because it has a brand new commentary with James Gunn and um, cast members and what they're doing is they are just dogging on the movie and dogging on one another and they're just like they're just making fun of each other and it is so much fun to listen to like they've seen like they've seen the movie hundreds of times so you just want to hear them talk about the movie and and but they're just too busy just like making fun with one another and it's hilarious um you get you get, actually, what's really cool is you, I get like three different artworks. You got this artwork, for, this is for the, uh, is it the full, it, the widescreen um, DVD. You got the new artwork, which I absolutely love. I definitely want to get this as a poster one day. You got this, um, sorry about the lighting. Um, there you go. You got this um, artwork. Uh, do we get another? Oh, and then um, and then we get a, the um, the cover as a, another um, in as the other artwork for this. So it's like you, 
so it's pretty cool. You get like I have. That's why I like to own the DVDs and stuff like that because you get like some of these um, posters and covers are kind of lost to time sometimes. So, and the and the picture quality has been greatly improved, um, especially the scene where he ends up fighting the like the infected deer. Um, it was kind of hard to see on the DVD and things like that. And so when they kind of helped that out a little bit with um, the with this transfer and everything, which made it look really, really nice. Um, so, um, next up is, um, I just bought this because I just wanted a new, I just wanted to have this in 4K. This is probably one of the weaker ones too, because I don't think there's anything, um, truly new about it. It is definitely recolored in, um, oh, thank you. Uh, my Mick Foley, um, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. I, um, just got done watching the AEW pay-per-view tonight, so I had to sport something wrestling related, but because I didn't really want to wear a black t-shirt, um, because I had a little party to go to, um, so I, um, the next movie is, um, uh, is Bubba Hotep. I love this. This is a very cool addition, because the lettering is raised, and it just, I, I love the look of it, like, um, sometimes DVDs make it, or just like, they look cool, um, because of like, just the way, because they're a little bit bigger, I can, that, that's, I like that, um, here's what the insert looks like, even has, I still have the book, I think it looks in the book, um, yeah, it's just a little bit of notes and drawings and stuff like that about from the production and stuff, which I really enjoy. Is I, you never know, like, I always just, I love this stuff. This is what, like, I am someone who would love to make a movie one day, and this is, like, this stuff is just, like, tickles my fancy, <laughs> to put it in, um, in, like, um, just to put it bluntly. Uh, but, yeah, like, even the special features and stuff, like, they don't really cool, do this kind of cool stuff anymore. They can they make the special features part of the artwork and everything. It's, like, like as much as I like um, this, it's like it's kind of bland. It's just like okay, um, but here's the 4K. It's not raised or anything. It, it just it's kind of a it just has a smooth front, um, and so I own this technically three times um, because I own DVD, Blu-ray because it, because the Blu-ray has more special features too. So it's like it's so it's um, all kinds of stuff. And here's the artwork for both discs. Um, because when you do buy the 4K screen factories, they, the movie, they really do a lot of work to, in transferring it and making it look good. So they put it all on one disc and then they use the Blu-ray as the special features and stuff, which I'm okay with. I think that's, um, pretty good in my point, in my opinion. It's like, I, I'll take, I'll, if I have to watch special features on a different disc, I'm all good with that. So, um some room um, okay um, next up is uh, I'm saving that one for last um, this um, Southland Tales so this is probably one of the bigger um, upgrades in my collection um, because I am a huge fan of Southland Tales I like this movie but there was just something about this it, this version of the movie that just was just different. It didn't, it was just off because apparently what I didn't know is that there is an alternate version of Southland Tales. It was called the cans cut, you know, or the con cut where he showed it off at the, the can film, film festival and stuff like that. And I'm like, Oh, that's awesome. Like I've always wanted to watch the newer version of that, that version of the movie where, before he started cutting stuff out, and it just felt like the movie was incomplete. And boy, was I right! Like I was really right. So when I when the Arrow announced that they were going to um, release this movie with both versions of the movie, I went out and bought this in a heartbeat uh, because the the uh, alternate cut for this movie is the superior version of the movie, uh, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, but this movie, like, 
what I felt like was missing from the theatrical cut of the movie, it's all in this movie, and it's like it makes sense. Like, um, it's I lo- I really do like this movie. Like, I may have to do like a whole review on it just because I fully enjoy this movie. Um, you got that. I like the new artwork. Honestly, the new artwork looks so much better. And then I th- does it come with the? Yes, it does. I didn't realize it. Did. I haven't switched it around yet. And then the alternate uh, insert for the um, Arrow Blu-ray um, comes with that cover, so which I will do right now. Which I did not realize that it did. Or I didn't have I'm done yet. So, okay, that looks cool. I like that. Uh, here's the, just the th- disc and everything. Nothing too spectacular, but there's some, like, uh, there's a little booklet that comes with it. So it's like, this was actually a pretty strong upgrade, in my opinion, just for the cut, for the alternate cut alone. It, it just, I can't stress enough, like, what, ed, like, how editing affects a movie, you know? Like, deleted scenes and stuff, yeah, like, they're, it's usually done to, like, to, some are very justified, but going from the theatrical version to the um, cons version is like two drastically different movies, and I um, I really like that. Uh, and then next is I just love I just really wanted to just get this in a better quality in everything, um, which I'm not I included it because um, over the other one that I have the other um, movie is because. Um, I'll tell in a second, um, is um, the Punisher Warzone. Uh, <laughs> I, um, uh, hand pink waving. <laughs> um, it is uh, Punisher Warzone with uh, Ray Stevenson, who just recently passed. This is a very underrated uh, superhero movie. I really enjoyed this particular one. I did upgrade um, The Punisher with Tom Jane um, from the standard DVD to the 4K one with the still book so I can have the ones to match. The only problem why I didn't include this one is because it didn't, because um, there's a um, director's cut version of the Punisher uh, with Thomas Jane. And I was really hoping that it may have been like just accidentally left off the the um, what's it called the special features or just like sometimes you don't get sometimes they just like oh here's an alternate version of the movie hidden on the movie. Uh, case in point, um, Terminator Two, um, which I don't I don't know where it's at, um, but there is a there's an Easter egg. Uh, oh, happy birthday. Um, oh yeah, it's, um, it's, um, one eleven here as well. Um, so I, I should be going to bed here shortly myself, but I just wanted to make some, mo- make a little review or not reviews to show off some movies. So I'm um, happy birthday, um, to you and, um, hope you have a very good birthday. I hope you have a good day ahead of you for your birthday. Um, so um, um, but yeah, upgrading it, um, this is just a fun upgrade because I like the new artwork and the, um, I think I, I actually managed to watch a little bit of this movie, um, and the picture quality is like night and day as well. Um, and the thing is, what's really cool is that most of these older DVDs have digital copies, but, um, <laughs> they, you have to insert the disc to get the digital copy like it doesn't work like how digital copies work today and everything and it's just i i'm really happy that i upgraded this one i can't i showcase this off in my still book um stream uh, but he, here it is again i just love it and if you take it off and it has this really cool blue tint um to the to the um, casing and everything and Hold on, I gotta take that out so no one can look at that. Um, 
and so it it was totally worth the buy just because I love the new artwork, the improved um, transfer, and everything, and it, and it's just a good um, action movie. I mean, yeah, there's some things wrong with it, like, but what movie doesn't have a little bit of flaws? So now um, this one, um, this may be one of my favorite transfers, favorite um, double dips. And everything. Um, I've done a lot of. I have some honorable mentions. I've, um, which I don't have anymore. Which is why they're. I don't have the DVD version of the movie anymore. Is uh, the um, Friday the Thirteenth um, box set. I used to have the Welcome to Crystal Lake uh, one through Manhattan. I used to have that little box set. And then I had um, Jason X. Jason Goes to Hell and Freddy vs. Jason separate, you know, the New Line movies by themselves, and it just didn't look right on the on the shelf, and so and when they finally did the cool Friday the 13th box set, I totally double-dipped, bought all those movies again on Blu-ray, and just that nice box, and it just sits on my shelf with my Jason figures and everything, so that's an honorable mention just because I still don't have the DVD um, anymore. I I just wanted to include the movies that I also have the DVD as well because sometimes, as I've mentioned, that sometimes the um, some of these DVDs have special features that the Blu-rays don't have anymore. So um, now this one I may have to buy again just because I I'm kind of regretting my choice on the um, version I got in terms of artwork. Uh, which is um, Wild Things <laughs> with Matt Dillon, Nev Campbell, and um, Denise Richards. I like this movie. I love um, the soundtrack to this movie. Um, George S. Clinton does the soundtrack. I love that. I can listen to that opening um, um, score over and over again. It's just so, so good. And which is really weird is that it actually has a picture of the menu on the back of the box. It's kind of like, like no, not a lot of movies have that. And, and it's, it's a, and it's a, and it's a full screen edition. So it has the black bars on the side. And it was during that time period where um, flat screens and, um, and widescreen TVs were starting to kind of like, compete, you know, and everything, but, so I ended up buying this edition of, um, Wild Things, there's another one that looks, um, a little similar to this one, I do believe, but I chose this one, um, I don't know why, I think it's because it, it's a little, it's different than the other one, and I think I really wanted something to, like, to be different on my shelf, and, and this like comes with a booklet, um, a poster. Oh, I think this actually has the alternate. Yeah, it has the post. It has the the theatrical poster, which, um, and then it has the 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 cover of the DVD on here, and everything, and like some artwork. And I think the and then the alternate um, artwork for the the case itself is what I just showed you right here. So, But this one actually has an alternate cut. That's probably why it's one of my favorite. It's, it's a little bit longer. It's, um, it's a little bit more grittier. Um, it looks really good. I mean, the transfer-wise, like, like, not a lot of the Blu-ray still actually has some good quality to them, um, but it's just... Um, when you watch them on a 4K TV, um, like a like a 70 inch flat screen, like you, it tends to lose a little bit of quality, you know. But um, but then when you transfer it over to this, it's like oh, it's like this is what movies are supposed to look like, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, these were just fun. Uh, I, these are the movies I didn't mind double dipping on. I like I mentioned, there's I've done double dipped plenty of times on other movies. I've there, um, I'm even kind of holding out on, oh crap, uh, 
uh, holding out on um, talking about one particular one I like that I did during the challenge video. Uh, I did um, for the Watchmen. So um, actually, you know what? I'll just reach for it. It's right back here. So I almost think I, I should just include it. So I have the DVD version of the movie. This is the theatrical version of the movie. Uh, then I have the director's cut version of the movie. Uh, it has that little nice lenticular cover. Um, then I have this box set of the movie. It's the ultimate cut. It's like three and a half hours long. Um, it includes... Um, uh, I don't like opening it too much because it's starting to um, get this is starting to get some serious wear and tear in terms of like me wa watching it which is why because it also includes the uh, motion comic um, which I highly recommend watching it's really really cool watching the graphic novel come to life I like 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 it's uh, it's just really really cool it because it's it's animated it's not it's not an animated movie it's just like the pictures are like kind of moving and everything it has some really cool voice acting and everything it i i recommend this one i've watched this a, a few times and it's and if because if you wanted to see like the which i think it'd be pretty cool to do more um comic books like this you know, kind of make it more motion animated and everything and so here's what the like insert of the dvd looks like or blu-ray has all the special has all the um, characters from the movie opens up real nice and big you know it's like it's that little bit um, and it's like the three and a half hour cut of the movie I think it also what is the special features I don't remember what the special features for this particular movie is um, under the hood uh, just some I think some of the stuff that's also on the director's cut version of the movie which like there is, it, which is really cool because this movie is already long. It's this, like, this version of the movie is this version of the movie, but this movie um, also includes the animated um, uh, Tales of the Black Freighter, which is, like, a really cool anime. It's a, it's a comic book within a comic book movie, and it's just, it's really cool. I... I, this is one of the cooler box sets that I own because it's 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 magnetized right here so it like it when it, you close it it's like magnet shut and everything so yeah um those and then I own um, hey echo and then I own um, the ultimate cut in 4k digitally so I own it one two three I own it four times I would like to own it in 4k as a physical release to make it five um so um if you, do you want me to run through the movies again um i can't i can totally do that if you need me to echo to kind of reveal which ones i just like the movies i double dipped uh on um oh thank you thank you <laughs> my shirt's getting a lot of love tonight <laughs> let me see if i can pick these movies up real quick I didn't mean to drop all these. Oh, there it is. Okay, um, I'll just do a quick rundown, real quick, as soon as I pick my movies up. Um, see, if, see if you have any of these, because um, I don't mind doing it again. Um, okay, let me. Oh. I like, I like champagne. I like having. Uh, that's actually uh, my bad. Okay, so here's one of my double dips. Uh, I went from a three disc DVD box set to a singular disc Blu-ray, uh, which this one has more, way more special features than this. But I just wanted to have a kind of a better picture quality, and um, so yeah, it's like. 
like that's why I keep this one. It's just because it has all kinds of special features. I don't because this one doesn't have any like the Comic Con footage and stuff like that. So that's why I hold on to this one for dear life. Um, I think you came in when I was talking about the Watchmen. I own this movie four times, and hopefully maybe a fifth time because I own the um, the theatrical version, which is just a standard DVD. The director's cut, which is um, the um, ultimate cut, just minus the Black Freighter. And then the ultimate cut, which is the three hour and a half movie, which includes the animated movie. Um, um, Tales of the Black Freighter within the within the Watchmen movie itself. So that's what bumps up that movie even further. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got um, Wild Things. I updated, upgraded that. Um, th this is not a bad release, um, uh, but I just I only watched it a handful of times just because once I found out there is a um, unrated cut version of this movie, this one and yeah, it's like it's be, it's out there, but it's just never been released on DVD until now. And then I got this one, which is the Arrow 4K edition. Uh, it comes with all kinds of cool stuff, and um, and with the all with the alternate cut, uh, the unrated director's cut. So, um, which. Um, I think there, it just, in, I think there's some line of dialogue and stuff like that. And there's some like extended, um, sex scenes and stuff like that. And it's just kind of like, it's a little bit more fleshed out, and, but I don't know why they cut it. I, I know why they cut some of the scenes, but it just, it fleshed out some stuff a little bit better. Um, next up is, um, I think. Um, I showed off this one to you before, but um, the Punisher Warzone to the Steelbook, uh, just better picture quality and everything, because um, this movie was kind of dark a little bit, and and but I like the new um, Steelbook stuff for this. Um, then this is probably my favorite of the bunch, uh, next to uh, um, the Wild Things, is just because. I got the Southland Tales um, Arrow, which includes the alternate um, cut of this, which makes this movie obsolete. I could literally just, I could lose this movie right now. It could just disappear from my hand and I'd be like, all right, I'm good with it because I have the um, the cans cut of this movie. Um, like I said, when I was talking about it. This movie just feels incomplete. It felt like there was a lot of stuff missing from this movie. And then, th then they finally released the version of the movie I've been trying to watch all these years, and it it fills in a lot of gaps. It makes the movie feel um, overall more of a movie instead of just some just some random scenes put together. Like there's some stuff with like some like um, kind of corrupt cops and stuff like that. Like, like it just felt like there was some like there was truly something missing from those scenes and then sure enough it's like oh okay that makes sense I can see where this is going and, and like but like man it's like they he tr or the movie get trimmed down so horribly that's when editing really gets so like can really harm a movie you know it like really can this is probably this next is probably the weakest of the bunch um it is my Scott Pilgrim upgrades uh double dips you got uh, the 4K, and then you got the just the standard Blu-ray. What's really cool is that the the, the Blu-ray still looks amazing, but the 4K transfer and stuff it just looks to me it looks really really good and better um, surround sound and everything. So, um, and I just love the new artwork. It's, I like the red casing and everything. Um, next up is um, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba Hotep, um, just better transfer. Um, uh, there's no really new special features and everything, but um, this movie is like recolorized and re um, kind of the it's kind of I think it has a little bit more of a kind of a drier t a feel to it, tone to it. I think I don't know. Um, it feels more like um, like kind of uh, has that um, e like when you watch like the like the 
the Brandon Fraser movie, it kind of has that little bit of a drier feel to it. I, don't, I, I don't, that's the best way I can um, describe it. Um, it just the it, and the transfer and the soundtrack, it just um, is really good. Um, it has all the same special features and stuff. I think it may have some new. Does it have some new stuff compared to the Blu-ray? Maybe. Um, let me see. Actually, it actually may have a couple newer stuff. So it may. So yeah, I think it might. So uh, the next up is um, Slither. Um, I went up and be. I've never worked so hard to find a movie on release day than Slither because I went from my Walmart to Best Buy to uh, another Walmart. Uh, finally, it took me two, like three Walmarts and a Best Buy to finally find this on Blu-ray, or not Blu-ray, just just on DVD, just to get this because I really, really wanted it. And then, and I, and then they up, and then like several years later, they released the the Screen Factory edition, which includes a brand new commentary. Uh, yeah, I think because people, I think people hold on to their. Uh, copies because I don't yeah I don't I don't either I don't see this out and about either uh, and <laughs> so I just got this and I, better quality the, there's actually brand new um, commentary on this on the fork on the blu-ray hilarious it, it has Nathan Fillion I think Michael Rooker's on it and James Gunn, of course, and they're just like making fun of each other and stuff like that. It's it is really really good. And then um, lastly, it is the Return of the Living Dead. Um, so I I need to do a little bit more research. I honestly think um, this one is the messed up one that I have, um, where they um, they've had to. Um, retool the soundtrack because they didn't they don't have the um, they didn't have the license for the the songs for this edition of the movie or something like that I think I have that version obviously they fixed it for um, the 4k screen factory edition but I think this one may have alternate music in it I'm not quite sure I I know there's a I know there's um, some I know they had some licensing music of, um, of uh, what's it called for the DVDs and Blu-rays. So I'm just curious as to if I have that version of the movie. Um, um oh yeah, I meant to. Ch I actually forgot about. We talked about that. Um, so this one doesn't. Um, this one doesn't, um, I, and I don't think this one does either because, um, it's listing all the, um, zomb it's listing all the commentaries but it's not listening like just like zombies, like the zombie speak. Um, yeah, I don't think. Oh man, I totally forgot that was a thing. Uh, let me see if it goes in a little, little bit better detail on the in the inside. Nope, I forgot the notebook. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I don't think this one has that. But I know what you're talking about, though. That I may have to put that in just for the fun of it, just to see if it has it or not. <laughs> no, I, 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 I kind of wish it does. I, I, I may have to like really. I may have to um, put that in just to maybe they will have a, like list more of them listed, uh, <laughs> but. I don't think it does. 
Yeah, I don't think it does. It's just a shame now. I know I'm kind of like, oh man, I may have to go out and find my co- find my copy. Oh, zombies. Okay, so I may have to go to the options menu for that um, to see if it does that, um, which is, I may have to check that out. Hmm. So now I'm curious now. You got me curious. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, that was just my double dip collection. Um, I just wanted to get, I haven't made a, a video in a while, and me and the 13th Wolfman, uh, we did a stream earlier today, and I really just got done watching AEW Double or Nothing, and I was just like, I still wasn't quite ready to go to bed, so um, I was just like, you know what, I'll just hop on, and I had planned to do this yesterday night, or yesterday night, last night, um, but it, by the time I actually got done eating and settled and picked all these movies out, it was kind of like, it was I was like, you know what, I'm going to bed. So I'm like, I'll just do it tonight. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's all. Um, thank you for joining Echo and uh, Mayan for um, for um, talking about the movies. I think I missed one of your comments. Uh, but I th- um, if you're still here, I think I missed one of them. Um, I think you mentioned Friday the 13th is one of your favorites. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah. Um, and then happy birthday to, um, who, who's happy birthday? Was it? I, I see. I'm like, I'm lost already. Oh, um, cast love. I hope you have a happy birthday. And so, yeah. Um, Friday the 13th is, I always joke around with my buddy about Friday the 13th because he's a big Freddy fan. And I um, joke around like, you know, Jason is the better movie uh, franchise and everything. He's like, no, it's not. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, I don't see um, Freddy holding Jason's head up when he leaves the that water and everything. Just, um, oh, yeah, the Texas Chainsaw game comes out. Um, thank you. Um, I hope you have a good night. I hope your champagne is uh, treats you well <laughs> um, and everything. Um, which, I, the thing is, you know, I, I still... Um, I still need to watch this version. Of, I still need to watch this. I have the 4K um, front, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I still need to see that. Or I still need to watch it. I have so many movies sitting around my house that I have yet to watch um, that I'm just a little behind. I keep telling myself, today is new movie day, but I end up getting distracted. <laughs> so, oh man, that was good. Um, but yeah, oh good, I'm glad that's very tasty. I like champagne myself. Um, I, I, like, I like fizzy drinks. Um, we did not like pop, pop is fizzy, but I'll, it, champagne is a different kind of fizzy in my opinion. Um, um, if that makes sense, <laughs> um, at least to me it does, but, um, but thank you Echo for coming in. Uh, I, now I'm curious. I need to really check out my Night of the Living Dead movies. Maybe it's listed as sub in the subtitles more than it is, um, in the um, special features. So, um, oh, see, I, the newer one or the older one? You know, the, the one with Ryan Reynolds or is the one with Josh, Bro- or is it, how is, is it, um, with, with Brolin in it? I think that's who's in it. I know it's, um, I think, I can't think of his dad's name. Not, I know Josh is, his, is um, the son. Okay. I still like the one with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, James, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That would have bugged me all night. <laughs> it really would have. Um, so, um, 
I like uh, I like the I like both versions of the movie. Like, but I I think that's a good. I think those were a pretty decent remake um, because like you got the eighties. I think you got the eighties vibe of I think of Animeville uh, with James, and then you got that newer stuff. The what you can do what you can do with better special effects with Ryan Reynolds and and things. Um, so it's a, I mean like. I'm not always not always been a big fan of the Animeville movies to begin with, but the, the, those particular the first two of the remake and the older one were always actually not too bad in my opinion. Um, so, uh, but I'm, I've kind of lost track on the Animeville movies. I'm not quite sure what movies are like the true sequels or like I think they're one that goes ones in space or. One of them, I don't know. It's just like uh, the anime, like I think there's one called the Anime Reveal Dollhouse or something. I have no idea. It, like, like I think they just slap the word um, Anime Reveal on on one, and they just call it a day. It's like all right, it's just it's this type of movie. Yeah, uh, exactly. Are there really about forty three of them? Oh, no, that's that's terrible. That's it, it's kind of like um, Night of the Living Dead, which really sucks because um, because they own uh, somebody owns Night of the Night of something, and then they can put like whatever they want or something like that. I think I may, and so they can put like. Uh, Night of the Living, blah blah blah, or this or that or something. So it's like they just like there's like tons of movies where the the, the first star of the movie is like Night of the Living or the Living whatever. It's just the combination of that is just I'm like oh, like why? I think I've seen that one. Um, I I re is that the one um, where they're in the apartment? And they're trying to leave. Is that the one there? Is that what I'm talking of? Thinking of? Um, um, it has. Um, I think that's the one. I'm going to look that up. Okay. I th because I've actually watched that one. And I, I thought that one was pretty good too. Yep, that's it. That's. That's the one I was thinking of. So, I like that one. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. I, um, so, yeah, um, that is all. I'm about to go to bed. Um, I have a very busy day tomorrow. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me in the chat. Like, um, if I was going to be up longer, I'd ask you to come up, but I'm where as soon as I close the stream down, I'm going to like go to bed, <laughs> try to scoot the dog over and everything. So, um, so I can fight for my side of the bed. Oh, oh excuse me. So, um, good night, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Um, I, this was just a kind of like a, a random video that I wanted to do. Hopefully soon that I will, I kind of get into more of a review. Um, um, state like I used to do, uh, but I just hadn't made a video for a while, and I've been kind of, um, kind of like absent from the community for a little bit, just kind of taking a little bit of breather. Work's been kind of rough and everything. Oh, hey, Patrick, um, thanks for dropping by. <laughs> um, yeah, it just, I just was just like, you know what, I haven't really had a chance to kind of say hi and to everyone just been busy with the new kid and everything and uh, but I haven't forgot about anybody um, so um, have a good one thank you all for joining me um, and uh, uh, my name is Max uh, the one and only MSJ Max for short and I'm going to go geek out <laughs>